Oh, all right. I'm recording. I don't know that I've ever recorded on my Galaxy S8. Wow. All right. We're making a hard drive installation video. My mom cleaned the floors. That is a hard drive. It's four terabytes large, and it's slow. But that's you know, price was right. Only a hundred dollars off a of new egg, and uh, I need to put it in my system. The monitors are off because I turned it off. This mouse pad could keep a small child warm at night, but that's not what's important. This thing needs to come out. So I'm gonna unplug all of that, take this thing off, and then uh, move it into a, a kitchen. You guys ready for some grade A ingenuity? What? Is here? No, I'm making a video. So I put my computer on a cardboard thing so I can just slide it out of there. Isn't that awesome? All right. And there it is, a computer on a kitchen table. Now we just gotta take the side panels off and uh, take out one of these little slots. See, it's gonna get a little tricky because you see I have a single fan in there blown across all of my drives but these two are empty. Oh, this one's just a box with stuff that came with my case, but uh, yeah, so it won't get as much airflow, but I really don't think it's gonna matter because it's just a hard drive. And the idea behind this storage is big, fat, slow storage. I'm gonna call it my T drive because it's four terabytes, sure, but it's gonna be slow, and I'm probably just gonna use it for archiving videos, so it really won't need to be spinning too much, except for the initial night where I have to move 1.4 terabytes of mo uh, YouTube videos onto it, so that'll take a while. Oh yeah, look how glossy it is. This might be hard to believe, but I've never actually held a brand new hard drive. These three are all refurbished. And if you're curious about my previous hard drive specs, uh, my full computer specs, including this new hard drive, will be listed below. But and I'm not actually sure which ones. These bottom two are three terabyte, and this top one's a two terabyte. So this four terabyte should fit in nicely. And because I have these nice sliding things, I can just pull this out, and then hopefully with one hand, just kinda get it on there. I'm gonna have to slip it in. Get the little pokers into the hole. That's what she said. And, uh, Okay, I can't do it with one hand. That's also what she said. All right, now that it's in there, just uh, click it into place. Now I need a SATA cable. All right, we yeah, got that's a SATA. not a screwdriver. You got a SATA cable. I need to plug it into the back. And then I gotta move this into here somehow, and then theoretically, we should be able to plug it into a motherboard, but um, that's a little bit easier said than done, because I'm not actually sure where this went. So, oh, I found it. Right. I'm gonna have to snake this in there. Your big hand is in the way. We got the click. It's in there. All right, now I gotta plug it in with the back. You can get this. So we have, I think I have two more of these open in my motherboard and one of these should be able to just plug in right there. And that should be it. That was admittedly a lot easier than I thought it would be. And theoretically, this should work. So I just need to now get the side panels on properly and then discover the drive on Windows name it, and then move a bunch of files onto it. Hopefully my mother's cam work has been satisfactory. So this cardboard wasn't just an ease of life situation. I actually had, I don't know, I, I didn't really know what to expect when I had this on a tile floor, but the problem with the, the feet of this thing is they're made of like, I think rubber and just plastic. So on the tile, it's not even that it's difficult, it's that it like straight up doesn't slide. So this piece of cardboard is truly a lifesaver. I can just push it all the way in there, 
up against my desk, and then uh, that's for my microphone, for the one that I stream with. And um, now I have to plug everything in. And then we'll uh, boot it up and then see if it works. All right. I clicked the button. I clicked it. And nothing happened because uh, there's always that switch next to the power button that I always forget to click. Now let's do it. Ooh. You know what? I actually think it already worked because uh, that sounds like another hard drive. Let's go right into the BIOS just to see if it worked. Theoretically, if it was detected already, then there we go. Western Digital C under SATA 3 A1. The two Hitachis and the other Hitachi, see two of these are identical because they're, they're the same three terabyte drive. And then this one is my two terabyte. There's the uh, SSD boot drive, and then there's the uh, new hard drive. And I am not changing anything about this system, so we're just gonna save and exit. Yeah, we're not doing anything. And then we'll wait for it to boot up. You know, that window is really having a hard time trying to breathe. It would open it up a lot more if I just move that aside. So now I have to discover it on Windows and I honestly, you know, you'd think after doing this a few times I would know how to do that. Uh, I'm just gonna look up a tutorial and then cut to it being done. Oh, look at that. 3,729, 25 gigs unallocated. That's what I like to see. It, these nerds helped me find that. Oh! It's formatted. Look at that. 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 Tank storage. And now I have a this folder is empty icon. That's what I like to see. All right. So now we can just go to. Wait. Why is it down here? It's not under this PC. Oh. It's up here as well. Why is it? Well, that. That's, that's going to drive me insane. All right. Well, now now I can go to my YouTube drive, and go to my recordings. I can take this is this is my stream today. I can take my video files archive, and I can just drag and drop. That's a 1.4 terabyte folder. So see you tomorrow. Okay, but like actually, that's kind of it. As far as I'm aware or concerned, this drive is now functional. Um, really don't know why it's appearing twice down there. I might try to tinker with that off camera, but this was really just supposed to be a quick installation video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Uh, this has been a successful drive installation. Thank you for watching.